my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 18th of January, 2019. You remember watching the Catch a Predator series? Huh? I really used to enjoy watching that. Yeah, Chris Hansen had a show. It ran for about three or four years. And what they would do is they would have uh, women, young women, answer ads for older men to come visit with younger women. And they would arrange these rendezvous. And Chris Hansen had a camera crew. And they also had a booking trailer close by. And the men were invited at different times, like 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And they just kept coming. And they would come into the home and what appeared to be an underage girl who was a model actress looked like she was about 14, but she was over 18. And she would say, um, would you like some sweet tea? I'll go get you some. And she'd leave the main room that they were both in. And then Chris Hansen would come out and say, so what are you doing here? On one of the episodes, one of the men actually undressed while the actress went to get some sweet tea. Chris Hansen walked in. <laughs> anyway, it was very entertaining. I was sort of sad to read the article that I read that I'm going to talk about. Title, Chris Hansen gets his own mugshot after bouncing $13,000 check. Police say the former To Catch a Predator host broke multiple promises to pay for marketing merchandise. Written by David Lohr, that's L-O-H-R. A television journalist made famous for hosting a controversial investigative series that targeted would-be predators found himself in the hot seat this week after he was arrested in Connecticut. Chris Hansen, 59, of Shippian, was charged Monday with issuing a bad check to a Sanford business for several thousand dollars in marketing merchandise. He was released without bond after signing a written promise to appear in court. According to a four-page arrest affidavit obtained by the Sanford advocate, Hansen placed an order with Promotional Sales Limited of Summer Street in 2017 for several hundred ceramic mugs, t-shirts, and decals. The order totaled $12,998.05. In September of 2017, the company allegedly turned over their goods after receiving a check issued by Hanson News, LLC, a company reported led by Hanson for the entire amount. It bounced. The timing of the order appears to coincide with Hansen's attempting to keep promises he'd made during a Kickstarter campaign aimed at funding Hansen vs. Predator, a spin-off of the To Catch a Predator series Hansen hosted on Dateline NBC from 2004 to 2007. The original series featured Hansen and an advocacy organization called Perverted Justice posing as younger women and communicating with older men online and then catching would-be sex offenders on camera. The show was criticized for its method, especially after the suicide of a Texas prosecutor who found himself at the center of a sting. Well, it shouldn't have been criticized. That prosecutor found himself at the center because he was a predator. Kickstarter donors were promised a number of items including t-shirts and coffee mugs. The campaign raised nearly $90,000, but multiple donors left comments on the Kickstarter page complaining they never received anything. Similarly, police say Hansen failed to keep with multiple promises he's allegedly made to reimburse Promotional Sales Limited of Summer Street. The business owner filed a complaint with police in April 2017. Sanford Police Investigator Sean Coughlin wrote in the arrest affidavit that Hansen was a no-show after agreeing to meet with him, according to Sanford Advocate. A follow-up conversation Coughlin detailed in the affidavit indicates money woes could be to blame. I bet Chris that I understood that he may have trouble 
but the nearly 13000 is a lot of money to a mom and pop business, and it's not fair that he accepted the material but hasn't paid for it, Cogman said. In April 2018, Promotional Sales Limited of Summer Street allegedly received a personal check from Hansen in the amount of $13,200. It bounced three days later, according to police. Hansen then allegedly emailed the owner of the company. The email, according to affidavit, read in part, I truly thought I had this covered. I am scrambling to get it done. Please give me till the end of the day. I sold a boat to cover the rest of this and need to pick up the payment this afternoon. A third check was never received, police said. An arrest warrant was issued for Hansen. He turned himself into police on Monday, the Sanford Advocate reported. There's a, sort of a sad story, huh? Obviously he couldn't bounce back. I read another article that uh, he was evicted from the home that he rented, or the apartment that he rented, failure to pay his rent. So he is now, according to what I read, in all probability, homeless. I'll attach the link. There's an embedded video. Take a look at it. Thanks for listening.